I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your vending machine. I've been playing this game for four years now. I know what sells. I know what doesn't sell. I can show you how to get a lot of caps easy. You will be able to buy anything you want with this strap. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is ammo. Everybody wants ammo in this game. Everybody jumps vendors just to get ammo because you need to grind out materials to make ammo and people are not bothered so they will just buy it from vendors. The usual price for buying ammo is one cap. If you have a more than one cap, people are going to be very mad. They're going to be salty. They won't buy it. So always keep your ammo at one cap. The next thing we're going to be talking about is junk more specifically the gunpowder gunpowder used to be in miscellaneous it used to weigh a lot less but now it is in junk and it weighs 0 0.05 so you're only going to be able to put a certain amount into your vending machine but always sell it at one cap it's very easy to make once again people will not want to grind it out because you need the acid and cloth but if you grind out those materials you'll be able to make it and you're going to be able to get caps very easy so remember gunpowder one cap people will buy it no issue and the next item on our list is going to be plans and recipes people are going to buy these at a price of 5 to 50 caps depending on your plan or recipe now don't forget there's also rarer plans and recipes in this game so you will want to boost the price of those ones up higher but a good safe range is from 5 to 50 caps people will buy them so don't worry about it 5 to 50 caps that's all you have to remember now my all time favorite thing to sell in my vending machine and I would recommend this highly berry mentats you can make a load of these very easy it could take up to 20 minutes just to make over 100 of these and i usually sell these around 50 caps to 100 caps i usually boost the price up higher if a double xp event is going on because people want to get the most experience and you get this from the plus five intelligence on berry mentats so berry mentats is very good this is hands down the best way to make money in your vending machines. And the next item on our list is going to be serums. You can sell serums from around 250 caps to 500. If you really want to sell them fast, put it to 250. New players will buy them, no issue at all. Some serums do sell for more. So let's say a marsupial, for example, everybody uses that serum. So that one is more sought for. So you could sell that for a little more compared to some of the other serums. But don't be afraid to experiment with the serums. Find a sweet spot yourself and just sell it at that price. And then next item on our list, we actually have two right here and they're damage increase drinks. So we use ballistic buck and a high voltage hefe just to get more damage i usually sell these for around 25 250 caps and they do sell very nicely people are always looking to increase their damage so they will go out of the way just to buy these once again if you don't see them selling lower the price a little bit and they will sell another item that i do sell is nuka cola you need nuka cola to make overdrive which is also another damage buff and people will buy the nuka cola instead of farming it so do sell nuka cola usually sell this around 25 caps and it does sell now the next item on our list is going to be apparel i've noticed that no vendors whatsoever sells under armor now certain under armors will give you more buffs to your special like this one will give you plus one perception plus two agility whereas the shield of ones down below gives you plus two strength and plus three endurance I have not seen a lot of people sell these whatsoever and I don't understand why because they're very good at making money. Because so little people sell them, players don't even know about Under Armour and if you do have Under Armour, you can easily sell them, upgrade them, put them in your stash, they're way next to nothing and people will buy them. Under Armour is just one of those items that I always need to replenish because people are just buying them. As I said, some Under Armour sells better than others, where my Sheila ones sell better than the Resistant, but new players will come along, see the Resistant one, buy them, because it's just a nice little passive to have when you're getting started. The next item on our list is going to be Legendary Armour. Legendary Armour is always a good thing to sell if you have the likes of Unyielding, 
Bolstern, Aristocrats, Vanguards, just stuff like that, you will always be able to sell them. And if they have very good perks on it, like let's say Unyielding with weight reduction, you will be able to sell that a lot more than other perks. So just keep that in mind when you're selling legendary armor. The better the perks, the better the price. And last but not least, let's talk about weapons. The Fixer is the most sought after weapon in this game. Everybody knows about the Fixer and if there's a new player on the server, they're going to find out about the Fixer. They're going to look at videos and they're going to know about this weapon. Now, I sell basic Fixers in my vending machine at 1000 caps because they do sell, especially to new players. But just remember, new players are going to be starting at a very low level. So they're going to be needing a low level weapon. The fixer starts at level 20, so people will buy it at level 20, and you can make them up until at level 50. So remember to have some level 20s in your stash, and new players will buy them. And of course, if you have legendary perks on it, the bigger the price is going to be. I have junkies, explosive, and critical charge on this fixer, and I'm going to be selling it for 11,000. And people will buy this because there's a lot of players that are junkies build. An explosive is so sought after on this weapon. I also have an Aristocrats Rail Rifle. Aristocrats is not really something that people want, but the 50 critical damage and a 25 less action point cost is what people are looking for. So that's why I'm selling it for around 9,000. Once again, experiment with the prices and you will sell them. And one more example of this is that the bear arm is a melee weapon. You're going to be looking for plus one strength on melee weapons because that will buff the damage. I also have anti-armor on it, which is also sought after. And I also have 40% power attack damage. So I sell this for around 6,000. I could up the price a little more, but I think 6,000 is the right price for this weapon. So before I end this video, I'm going to show you a few tips on how to sell more stuff. So for our first tip, it's location. You're going to want a nice location around the map where people can easily find you. So if you're up somewhere in the corners of the maps, like up here or over on the other side, people aren't really going to find you that easy. But if you're in a centralized area, like where I am or down by White Springs, people will visit your camps more. Tip number two, and I did not realize this, but by default, your public map icon is turned off, which I find crazy. This has stopped me from selling my stuff a lot unless I'm on a team and people can then see my map icon. So make sure you go to your camp icon and turn it on. This will help you get more traction towards your vendor. And our last tip is going to be have more stuff in your vendor. Right now you can see all the stuff that I have in my vendor. I have legendary weapons, legendary armor, just normal weapons, apparel, meds, drinks, junk, miscellaneous, plans, ammo, and food. This is going to get your camp vendor more attraction because people are going to see that you're selling a lot of stuff and are going to want to see what you're selling. So guys, if you found this video helpful and you want to help support the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.